KD is back spitting bars. Let's talk about it. So it's no secret that KD has a penchant for getting in the booth every now and then to spit a bar or two. And from my perspective, the songs that I've heard from him previously were... Meh. M-E-H. Meh. I was kind of in and out on him. To me, it really sounded like somebody who didn't rap trying to rap. And that's the one thing that I don't like when anybody else outside of the rap field gets into rap. There are ball players who can do it and do it well. Damian Lillard and Iman Shumpert come to mind. And if you haven't heard their songs, I implore you to check them out because they're actually quite good. Shockingly enough, Cole Beasley actually has some really good music if you take the time to listen to it. So there are athletes who can get in the booth and really do their thing. But much like the Dwayne Wade, Udonis Haslam, Rick Ross thing. I'm the son of a saint, still considered a sinner. Three rings on his finger, yeah that boy was a winner. When KD started rapping at first, you really could tell that it wasn't his thing. Like he didn't do it often enough. You could hear the reading, you could hear the uncertainty in his delivery. And it's kind of unfortunate because it tunes people out. But for this song though, it really does sound like he's found his rhythm and he holds his own pretty well. When she speak to me, it's like she's saying prayers. I feel like Randy Moss when he was on the Raiders. Man, they love the haters. This woman's so fine, I give her cash payments. I do think he did a lot better on this song than in previous ones that I've heard from him. I would actually tell people to give this one a listen. Other times, not so much. If you haven't heard the last times that KD was on a track, you're probably not missing much. But this one, I would actually listen to it and dive a little bit deeper and see what you think about it because to me it's actually palatable and you don't get the sense that he's an outsider trying to get into the rap game you actually feel like he's comfortable and it's actually part of what he does on a regular basis and i'm okay with that it's like in a football game where you have a supremely good defense and you just need a game manager to hold it down so you guys could get to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl. That's what it is for KD with this song. He has the beat. He's got the Stolly feature. All he has to do is not mess it up. And I think he did well here. His delivery is a lot better. The bars come a lot cleaner and he fits right into the song. I think his vocals come in a little bit low, but that's an engineering thing and I don't think it'll really matter in the long run. Overall, if I had to rate this song on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it a not bad. I might actually add this one to the playlist. But that will do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.